Now, from WPTV, Florida's top-rated television station, this is News Channel 5 at noon. We continue now with more local coverage you can count on. If you've ever wanted to wear a timepiece worthy of the rich and famous, now you have your chance. As News Channel 5's Roxanne Stein reports, tomorrow the Treasury Department will auction off the watch collection of South Florida's biggest Ponzi schemer, Scott Rothstein. So many incredible watches here. I mean, the watch collection here is probably greater than you'd have in a major watch store in New York or anywhere in the world. More than 200 designer watches, high-end jewelry dripping with diamonds and luxury cars sure to pique the interest of any enthusiast. It is all on display at a warehouse in Pompano Beach. The U.S. Treasury Department auctioning off more property seized from attorney Scott Rothstein, who pleaded guilty to running the largest Ponzi scheme in South Florida history. Last year, people from all over the country came to bid on Rothstein's fleet of luxury yachts and exotic cars. His nearly $2 million Bugatti selling for more than $800,000. This year, those looking for a good deal say it was not the size of the crime, but instead the size of the collection that grabbed their attention. The Rothstein name didn't necessarily attract me, but looking at what he had available on the website, certainly did. A lot of watches that I've been looking for for a long time uh, appear to be here, uh, particularly the Patek Philippe. So uh, I'm looking to perhaps capture one of those prizes. Of course, not everyone can shell out tens of thousands of dollars for a timepiece. Believe it or not, Rothstein's collected everything from one-of-a-kind showcase quality items to much more reasonable everyday wear. He's got everything from some very low-priced watches to like extraordinarily expensive watches. He runs the gamut. Roxanne Stein, WPTV, News Channel 5. Some pretty nice timepieces there in Rothstein's Rolex Daytona is said to be one of the most sought after timepieces in the entire world. The last one sold by this auction company went for $70,000. The proceeds will go to the victims of Rothstein's scheme. Wow. You well, know, I've got a birthday coming up. There you go. I was gonna say we'll take two. <laughs> Why no, not? Not really, like in March, <laughs> and yours is in January, but if folks start putting together their money now, Pedro. Duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, a woman.